off the top of my head. <laughs> it's always a problem. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Right. <coughs> um, has anybody created a group on Facebook? Let's ignore Dwayne. Has anybody else created a group on Facebook? That's all right, Dwayne. Groups are a very simple way to get like-minded people to come and look at what you're doing. And basically this group is purely for one thing, it's for promoting our event. I mean, do people want me to go through and actually create a group and yeah, show you how it's done? Yeah. yeah, okay, that's cool. We'll go about that. Right, so first of all, when you look at Facebook, you first go onto this page and you'll see all kinds of stuff going on with your friends and you know what they're up to and all kinds of people. What you do is you go to groups and create a group. We'll create a group for Jason's Easy Web Biz Video. Easy Web, Easy web Video Workshop. Easy Web Video Workshop. And then what you can do is you'll be able to find this. So you just create a group, group Easy Web Video workshop in the description. I'll just put it you know, video workshop for now. You can put more details into these as you go along. On there? Yeah. No, that's a description. So the name yeah, the name you can only do once. So, I mean, you can delete it. If you create a group and you're not happy with it, just delete it and start again. So, but if you've got lots of people on there and you've made a mistake, you may not be able to get those people to rejoin the group. So just be, check everything when you go through it. I'll just put easy web video. And you choose a category. What do you want to put a category for it? Internet and technology? Okay. Yeah. And you just put cyber culture. You can put a recent news page, which is very, in recent news is very interesting um, because you can put on what events you're running, what's happening. Um, an office, you can put your address, email, street, town, and city. Now, where are we? We're in Ealing, aren't we? Facebook will actually search for towns and put those in there for you. This is only available to other members of Facebook? It's only available to other members of Facebook, but you can always invite people to join. You can get people to join the group anytime. And that's all you need to do to create your... That's the first step of creating your group. It's very simple. What's today? It's an open group by default. You can create secret groups if you want, if you only want certain people to be members of it. Um, you can, you say they're invitation only. But I would be very careful with, about um, Facebook because every group you join, all your friends can see you joined it. And a, a guy I had a lot of respect for as a business person, but he's a complete idiot on Facebook because he joined a hardcore porn group on Facebook. Now, do you want all your friends to know that? <laughs> I saw somebody nodding at the back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, so you, it's a double-edged sword. Everybody can know what you're up to, and everybody can know what you're up to. So it's just be careful. Um, so you just click Create Group. Can you have a corporate membership of, a, of Facebook? Or has it got to be you as an individual? You can create a corporate group. You can create, um, see, I'm on here as Just Want Ray, but you could create one as a, I could create a person or an entity called Berkshire Property Meet on here. Or you could create one with your company name on it. Yeah, uh, we've got a, a, a charity I run that, yeah. that would greatly benefit from, having a, from getting exposure to a lot of people. Hmm. It's called the Therapy Database, so I could have that as a member. You could have that, and you can actually add friends on to the Therapy, what's it, sorry, what's database. it again? The ther Therapy Database. You can upload a picture, so I don't want to look through your pictures on your laptop and scare them of what you might find. No, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> you can add a picture. Um, normally, company logos are good. People put their company logos on or the branding. I'd be consistent. If you've got a logo or branding on your website, I'd use the same thing on Facebook so you're consistent. If you've got something on your business card and it, you know, it follows all the way through, use the same logo and branding on Facebook. 
because people would like to see consistency throughout. They know they like to see the same thing going up throughout. So you can just upload a picture. I think it's a four megabyte limit, but it, Facebook compresses it. Now, this is where you have to be a little careful. You, oh, you can put your website address in there as well. So, was it? Oops, what happened then? Oh, hold on, let's come up with a quick find at the bottom. Discussion board, people can put in, I leave the discussion board open so people can put in, um, start a topic, and they can just enter anything they want in there. You know, the can you edit and remove posts? Oh, you can delete them. You can delete posts. If you're an admin, you can remove anything from your group. No, you can just remove it. I always, I mean, I take occasionally have a look and see what people are posting on there. Um, you can see the members, see there's 856 members on there. So people can actually see who else is a member. Every single person is a member of my group. When they joined, every single one of their friends saw that they joined this group. And can you fire members from the group? You can remove members from the group. And people can, this is, I leave the wall, this is called the wall which is allows people to post items about related to property. I check it occasionally because you start getting some weird stuff on in. I get rid of it, don't I, Dwayne? <laughs> <laughs> and on the right hand side, my group has got events we're hosting. Okay. It's funny when you just try to mess people up. It doesn't work, mate. And <laughs> if you notice at the bottom, there's only two admins. There's myself and Sylvia. You can actually add other people as what they call officers or admins, which means they can actually do virtually what you can do. So be careful about who you allow access to your group and who can actually message your group, who can remove members, who can post items. So it, like anything, who would you, would you give open access to your website? Say somebody, oh, come along and just post whatever you want. Edit the text, do whatever you like. I mean, you, you use the same amount of care with your Facebook group as you would with your website. And be careful, one thing you should never do is leave your group. Because if you click on that by mistake, you're no longer admin. There's a lot of open groups out there. Yeah. There's people who remove themselves as admin. There's no admin on there, which means it's a free-for-all. Can you put yourself back if you do that? No, mistake? because you removed yourself. You can, I think there's a brief window of time. You have to be careful about that. Facebook will kick you off. Mm -hmm. If you start spamming people, if you go and start emailing people all the time, Facebook will just, they'll close your account and remove you. They don't care. You're gone. End of story. So, I mean... They sometimes give you a warning. And then you, you get little red box or something, Piers, they're saying you're, you know, you're, you're doing this too often, please stop. You're doing this too often, please stop. The next time you log in, you can't. It hasn't happened to me, but I know it's a couple of people it's happened to. And I know somebody who had, um, you know, Tamkin. Mm -hmm. He went to a cyber cafe. He had a huge group and he had a huge list of friends. Went to a cyber cafe, forgot to log out. Oh. And his account got deleted in the end because somebody just went in there and just started spamming and doing all kinds of stuff. So, <laughs> so just be careful. If you ever go to a cyber cafe, make sure you log out your Facebook group. So you since you have more than 1,200, how do you guys send a mail to all your members? Sorry, say that again. Since you have more than 1,200 as members. There's only 800 at the moment. Um, but once you hit 1,200, you can't mail your group. So what do you do? You know, what you do is, if you start, what I'm, we're going to do is, once this group starts getting over 1,000, I'm going to close the group. Because there's people I've invited in the past. Who are going to join me. They're going to join me. There's some people who don't join me. There's a bit of a delay and then they come through later on. So if you think, oh, I'll stop it at 1198, next thing you know, you'll have about 1250. Sod's law is you'll have another 50 people join that you invited in the past that haven't joined yet. So once it hits about 1,000, you close the group. 
and then just leave it for a while.